Hey, Noah. Oh, Carlos Watson. Hey, you. Good morning. How are you? Oh, my goodness. I'm doing fantastic. When I knew I was going to get to speak with you again, Carlos, I was like, what? Carlos, I haven't talked to him like in a year. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I want to do this. Yes. <laughs> well, you, well, you sound as good and healthy as you did back then, and I'm doing it as well as I can. Happy September to both of us. Oh, yes. Happy, happy uh, fall. It's the fall season. It's in full swing. And by the way, I put up a little um, chandelier for you, Carlos, to help in mm. honor of the News and Documentary Emmy Awards. Oh, yes, yes. Mm. It's a little cheapy, but it's a little nice. Hey, you know what? There you no go, Carlos. These, you, hey, look, <laughs> these are the 42nd News and Documentary Emmys. So they've been in the yes. game for a while, and it is oh, packed gosh. over 2,000 contestants, but only 60 winners. Tuesday night at 8 Eastern, then again Wednesday night at 8, News Emmys on Tuesday, Documentary Emmys on Wednesday. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Well, Carlos, let's talk all about the award show. So in the unprecedented year 2020, where a global health crisis had challenged our safety and survival and a presidential election that shook the very bedrock of our democracy, didn't it all do that for us? These news and documentary professionals delivered the crucial, clear, and factual reporting that gave us the tools and knowledge necessary to make the informed decisions that affected our everyday lives and indeed our futures. So Carlos, what are viewers expected to see in the award show this year? You know what? On Tuesday night, they've got the news Emmys. You've got folks like Wolf Blitzer and Juju Chang, lots of other great people. And again, big, big stories about 40 winners. Then Wednesday night, they're going to close it up again at 8 p.m. It's the documentaries. And you know, over the last couple of years, we have just had a smorgasbord of great documentaries, whether they've been about our migrant crisis, whether they've been about the environment, whether they've been about unusual love stories. Documentaries have taken us almost everywhere, all around the world. No different this year, 21 winners on Wednesday night. Wednesday night at 8, the documentary Emmys are going to be great. Oh, my goodness. Now, is there going to be anything newly added in this year's broadcast? Oh, stay tuned. You got to be surprised a little bit. Got to get a little bit of surprise. <laughs> so stay tuned. It's going to be good stuff on uh, Tuesday night at 8, Wednesday night at 8. In fact, I would tell people, tune in at um at watch.theemmys.tv watch.theemmys.tv you're in for a treat it's gonna be great now carlos let's talk about the carlos watson show because by the way ever since i interviewed you i think the first time i've been watching and you've had such a numerous amount of guests it's been one of the most talked about online digital series since it premiered it currently has over mm. listen to this you guys 200 million viewership and is mm. amazon prime's first talk show look at you go carlos yes <laughs> so you've had an incredible lineup of an a-list talent mm. that includes you know getting to speak with heidi klum the former secretary of state scarlett johansson the list really continues you're just interviewing all these fabulous stars so what makes doing the Carlos Watson show so fun for you, my friend? You know, I just, I love meeting new people, trendsetters and tastemakers, whether they're big names or whether they're up and comers. And especially, honestly, if people are open, if they're not just here for kind of a scripted interview, but you know that moment when people actually indulge you and engage in a conversation, that yeah. lights me up. I love those. And so whenever that happens, I feel like I've been uh, treated to, uh, to something magical. Now, who's still a dream guest, Carlos, that you hope to meet someday on the show? Who's still one person that you're wanting to get that call from to say, you know what, I'm going to come on the show and be your special guest? Can I, can I give you two? Yes, two. Come on, give it to me. I'm give looking to Carlos. I, I got to get your girl Cardi B. I know she just had a child, but, but oh, I want your okay. girl Cardi. You know, a little Bodak yellow. And then Vladimir <laughs> Putin. Got to have Vladimir Ooh. Putin. How do you oh, love yes. that? How different are those, right? But both those are characters. Are both are lively characters. Two epic guests. Can you do the... Uh, uh, I can't do that, Carlos. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't do... Uh, uh, I won't uh, even try. You don't want me to embarrass myself like that. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do it, Carlos. Don't do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, it's always such a pleasure to get to speak with you. Everyone, be sure to tune into the 42nd Annual News and Doc Emmy Awards. Both news and documentary ceremonies will be live streamed at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our dedicated platform powered by Vimeo. So everyone, be sure to tune in. Carlos Watson, you're so much fun. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, you're just doing so great, my friend. I'm so proud of you. I appreciate it. Gracias. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Be well. Bye-bye.